Section 10.7, Segment Lengths in Circles. First we have the chord intersection theorem. If two chords intersect in the interior of a circle, then the product of segments of one chord equals the product of the other segments. So here we have two chords A, B, and C, D intersecting at E. So we know EA, one part of the first chord, times EB, the other part of that chord, is going to equal the product of the two parts of the other chord. So that's going to be EC times ED. And we can use that to find X. Here we know X times 18 is going to equal 12 times 9. So 108 is going to equal 18x. Divide both sides by 18, x is going to equal 6. Uh, here again, we, can, we have two chords intersecting inside of a circle. So we know the parts of each chord are going to equal uh, the product of the uh, parts of the other two chords. So x times x plus 1 is going to equal 3 times 2. So we're going to get x squared plus x is going to equal 6. We subtract the 6 over x squared plus x minus 6 is going to equal 0. So then we need to factor. Uh, we need to think what can we multiply together to get negative 6 and add up to be uh, positive 1x or positive 1. That would be the coefficient in front of the x there. Uh, so we would get x plus 3, x minus 2 equal to 0. We solve that. x can be either negative 3 or positive 2. Uh, but we look one of our segments is x. Could we possibly have a negative length? Uh, so no, we really can't. So the, uh, the real solution that we'd have there would be x equals 2, but we include both of them uh, because either one is a possibility. Here we need to find x. Uh, do we have two chords intersecting inside of a circle? So we multiply their two parts together. So we have 5 times x, and 8 times 10 is 80 set them equal to each other, so 5x equals 80, divide both sides by 5, x is going to equal 16, which would be letter C. Here we've got, again, two chords intersecting, so we multiply the two parts together. We're going to have gj and ji, so x times x plus 20, and that's going to equal x plus 8 times x plus 4. So x squared plus 20x is going to equal x squared plus 12x plus 32. Uh, combine like terms, so we'd subtract the x squareds from both sides. Subtract 12x. Our x squareds are going to cancel. So we'll have 8x equals 32. Divide by 8. x is going to equal 4, which should be letter B. Another theorem we have is the external secant and tangent theorems. If two secants share the same endpoint outside of a circle, then the product of the external segment and the whole segment is going to equal the other product of the external segment and the whole segment. So we look on one secant, which would be EB. The external segment is EA. We're going to multiply EA by that whole, uh, that whole secant, which would be EB. So the part from the intersection of the two secants to the far intersection of the circle. So we get EA times EB. It's going to equal, again, the external segment of ED, which is EC, times the whole segment ED. Uh, we have another theorem, uh, the external secant and tangent theorem. If a secant and a tangent segment share an endpoint outside of a circle, then the tangent segment squared equals the product of the external and internal segments of the secant. Uh, basically the same thing with the secant, uh, and we just square the tangent. So our tangent segment was EA, so we square EA, and that's going to equal the external part, EC, 
which is our part outside of the circle, times the whole segment, which was ED. So we have an external uh, two secants here meeting outside of the circle. We need to find x. So we know from our top secant that the external segment is 11. That external segment times the whole thing. So 11 times 11 plus 10 would be 21. So 11 times 21 is going to equal 12 times 12 plus x. So then we distribute that 12, 144 plus 12x is going to equal 231. Subtract off the 144, 12x is going to equal 87. Dividing by 12 uh, and then reducing that fraction, x is going to equal 29 over 4. Here are the external sec secant and tangent uh, theorems again. We're told to find the value of r, which would be a radius. We have a tangent, so we know our tangent squared, which is 24 squared, is going to equal the external segment of the secant, which would be 12, plus uh, the whole thing, which would be 12, plus 2r, because our diameter is going to be twice that radius r. And then we distribute our 12, we're going to get 24r plus 144 is going to equal 576, subtract off the 144, divide by 24, and x is going to equal 18. Uh, x, which was our r, or our radius. Um, as did. Right, Here we are asked to find x. Again, we have two secants uh, intersecting outside of the circle. So we know the x here part times the whole thing is going to equal x here times the whole segment. So we know uh, x is our exterior part of mi. The whole thing would be x plus 24, so x times x plus 24 is going to equal the exterior, which is 25, times the whole segment mg, which is going to be 25 plus 27, uh, so 25 times 52. So we distribute our x, x squared plus 24x is going to equal 1300. Subtract that from both sides, x squared plus 24x minus 1300 equals 0. Now we need to factor, so we need to figure out what is going to uh, multiply to be 1300, and at the same time uh, what two numbers are going to subtract to be 24. So we're going to have an x and an x. Uh, we know if the two numbers are going to be multiplying to be a negative, one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. Uh, I believe we're going to have x plus 50 times x minus 26 is going to equal 0. We set both equal to 0. x is going to equal negative 50, or x is going to equal positive 26. But we know x is a length of a segment. We can't possibly have a negative length. So uh, the value of x is going to be c, 26. We can use the intersection of a secant and a tangent uh, to find x here. They ask us around to the nearest tenth. So we know lm, uh, since it's a tangent, is going to be squared. So 12 squared is 144. That's going to equal, uh, on our secant, we know it's the exterior part, which is x, times the whole thing, which would be x plus x plus 2. So 2x plus 2. We distribute our x. 144 is, go 144 is going to equal 2x squared plus 2x. We can subtract our 144, so 0 is going to equal 2x squared plus 2x minus 144. They all have a 2 in common, we'll factor that out, so 0 is going to equal 2 times x squared plus x minus 72. 
So we need to figure out what is going to multiply uh, to equal negative 72 and add up to be 1. We know 1 is going to be negative, 1 is going to be positive. They're going to be pretty close together. Uh, we know 9 times 8 is going to give us 72. Um, so 9 would be positive. Positive 9 minus 8 is going to give us a negative one or a positive 1 like we're looking for. And then we can, since these are both equal to 0, we know uh, to multiply to be 0, we need to multiply by 0. So either x minus 8 or x plus 9 must equal 0. So x is going to equal 8 or x is going to equal negative 9. But again, x is a length of a segment. We can't have negative lengths. Um, so we can cross that out because we know it's not going to be negative. Um, we're going to keep the positive segment. Oh. And all the work is done for us. Double check that we got the right answer. X minus 8 times X plus 9. Sweet, X equals 8 or X equals negative 9. And like we said, lengths cannot be negative, so the value of x must be 8. All right. External secant and tangent, we need to find the value of x. Um, so our tangent segment is equal to 30. So we know 30 squared is going to equal, uh, when we're dealing with secants, it's the external segment times the whole thing. So 30 squared is going to equal x times x plus 24 distribute that x. x squared plus 24x is going to equal 900. Subtract the 900. Now we need to factor, so we need to be thinking what is going to uh, subtract, or what is going to, yep, subtract to be 24 and what two numbers uh, are also going to multiply to be negative 900. Or we can use the quadratic formula. We know negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac uh, all over 2a will solve for our two answers of x. Plug those in, our b is 24, so we're going to have negative 24 plus or minus 24 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 900 all over 2 times 1. Plug that into our calculators. x is going to equal approximately 20.3 because we only want the positive portion of that. We don't want the negative answer because we can't have a negative length. 13 here, we need to find x. Assume that segments that appear to be tangent are tangent. So we know mn is a tangent segment. So we know x squared is going to equal, on the secant segment, we take the x here times the whole thing, so that's going to equal 20 times the whole thing, which would be 20 plus 25, which is 45. So x squared is going to equal 20 times 45, which equals 900. We square root both sides. And x is going to equal plus or minus 30. But we don't need the negative segment length. So we just have D, which is positive 30. And this ends section 10.7.